Today we are going to share our top 10 list with you. Our top 10 things we love about Cuenca. And the top 5 things that we don't love. Yes. And we're discussing this topic because we've had a couple people ask for this. Mm -hmm. So ask and you shall receive. Yes. We are going to start with our number 10 and work our way down to our number one reason why we love Cuenca. Yes. And the very first reason is they're on the dollar. So we didn't have to learn a new currency and our dollars go a lot further here. Now one thing to note is that they don't use dollar bills. They do use like tens and twenties and fives, but they use dollar coins mm -hmm. instead of dollar bills, which is, makes a lot more sense because they last a lot longer. They also use lots of 50 cent pieces. Yes. So we didn't, we don't use these that much in the States anymore, but they use them a lot here. And even pennies. Mm -hmm. And even pennies, yeah. So we always want to have change. The, yeah. the ATM always gives you $20 bills, and it's not always easy to break those if you're shopping at the Mercados. Yeah. But we've managed to. I know, you go to the get ATM, to you, get a, you get 20s, and if you're lucky, you get two 10s. Yeah. And then you go to use it, and no one has Nobody any change. Nobody ever has change. <laughs> so you always have to have change. And the cab drivers never have change. I've had cab drivers get out of the car and look under the seat for <laughs> coins before to make change. So it's great to have plenty of coins on you. Yes. But be careful if you bring them to, from the States. Because oh, we, we both brought a bag of coins with us <laughs> from, and it was just like quarters and, and dollars and nickels. Yeah. And then they, we got flagged in the TSA security and they didn't know what it was and we had to dump everything out of our bags yeah. just for these coins. Because of course they were all the way on the bottom of our backpacks. So yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. Don't bring a bunch of them. Just change them when you get here. But be grateful you don't have to worry about converting money in your head. Yes, it is really nice. <laughs> it is super nice. And it is nice how far the dollar goes here. Yes. All right, number nine on our list is the amazing fruits and veggies. Oh, yes. They are so ugly, but they are <laughs> amazingly delicious. They taste like they did when we were kids. Yeah, the fruits and vegetables out here are truly fantastic. It's fun to try all the different varieties. We found some new loves and some that we just probably will never eat again. Mm -hmm. The vegetables across the board they are awesome. They taste so good. They do. The onions are sweet. The peppers are sweet. I mean, it's just amazing how good everything tastes. Yes. But it is really ugly. <laughs> the stuff would never get sold in this state. Yeah, they're not all perfectly shaped and colored. But I'll take the abnormal shapes with great taste over our perfectly formed produce back in the states that had no flavor left. Well, and it's all so incredibly affordable. And it's honestly, it's just fun to go to the Mercado or the fruit mm -hmm. vendor every week and pick out what you want. Mm -hmm. It is really nice. Yeah. And it's so much cheaper. We spent, what, 20 bucks today mm -hmm. and brought back six bags of produce yeah. <laughs> for like $20. Yeah, and that included potatoes and mm. we got I some got coffee. Cantaloupe. And, yeah. All kinds of stuff. It's awesome. It you will great. love it. All right, what's next, JP? What's number eight? Number eight is the cost of living. We kind of mentioned that under the dollar. We did. And we did a whole video on our cost of living here, and we'll link that in the description below. But the cost of living is, it depends on what it is. It ranges, like medical care here is like one-tenth of what it is in the States. Most everything else is about a third of yeah. what it is in the States. That's about right. So we live here on about one-third of what we were spending every month in the States. So yeah. we covered that in our other video. So we spent about 2000 a month here, a little over, and a lot of that's for my medical <laughs> and physical therapy expenses. But yeah, but we do things like, yeah, physical therapy, but I go to yoga, you, we get massages. And she just started pole dancing again. Yes. <laughs> Not professionally, pole fitness, it's, I should clarify. Yes, it's pole fitness. <laughs> I'll call it, I call it adult acrobatics. Yeah. <laughs> So she started doing Jeez. that again. Thanks for putting that in the video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm blushing right now. You are. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, since we did a whole video on that, we're not going to go into detail on cost of living. Well, I thought you were going to say a whole video on pole dancing, and no, we did not. We, we might do a whole video on pole dancing. <laughs> All right, we got way off topic. Go. Okay. All right, number seven on the list is walkability. Yeah, this was huge for us. It was something that was so important to us. We really wanted to live in an area where we could walk as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And now we do. Yeah, we we do, do not own a car and we have no intention of owning a car. No, where we live here, we don't need a car because mm -mm. the public transportation and cabs are affordable. But we pretty much walk everywhere. We I mean, do. We, we have several restaurants in, right in our immediate neighborhood as well as uh, grocery stores. 
The Mercado is about a what ten five to ten minute walk from ten here. Ten minutes. Yeah. Super Maxi's five to five minute walk. So we just walk everywhere. Yeah. El Centro takes us about twenty minutes to get to Parque Calderon from where we live. Which is not bad at all, and it's good exercise. Yeah, we usually log about ten thousand steps a day. Sometimes, like Sometimes yesterday, more. was over twenty thousand. In fact, yeah. the last two days have been over twenty thousand steps. Yeah, and the nice thing is, is that the longer we've been here and the more walking we do, the faster I feel like it we get things done. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just because we've gotten fitter and stronger, which is a really nice side effect to the walkability factor it is, here yeah. in Cuenca. And we've we hear that from everybody, most that they people, walk and lose weight. Most people walk and lose weight here. Yes. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. <laughs> All right, number six on our list, and sorry for all the background noise. We're, we'll get to that on number four in, our, in our things we don't love, <laughs> but somebody's got a loud engine behind us. All right, number six on our list is it's really easy to be vegan here. Yes. I'm honestly surprised this isn't number one since we are vegan. Well, yeah. Well, there's more to the city, though, than just being vegan. But yes, there is. There's so that's much why. to this city. I know. I know. It was but hard the, to narrow this down. But the restaurant, we have delicious vegan and vegetarian restaurants um, that, like we said about the fruits and veggies, mm -hmm. are so affordable here. The grains are affordable. A two-pound bag of quinoa is a dollar. Well, and the beans are spectacular. Oh, my too. God. So we eat tons of beans. Yeah, the beans are so flavorful. And, yeah, they're so much better. But we have noticed a difference between the Super Maxi, oh, yeah. like prepackaged beans aren't nearly as good as the like the open beans that you get at the Mercado. Yes. I'm not sure what the difference is, but they're just dry beans. Yeah, I don't know. They just don't cook as well. They just don't. They don't cook as well. So we like we have a bean lady in Diaz de Agosto, <laughs> in the Mercado Diaz de Agosto, and we go to her for all of our bean needs. And there's, like you said, there's lots of vegan restaurants, vegetarian mm -hmm. restaurants. Most places have some sort of vegetarian option because vegetables are just a bigger part of their culture here, mm -hmm. especially with the Andean food. Yeah, there's, they're a starch based. Their traditional diet is starch based. They right. eat a lot of corn, potatoes, rice, mm -hmm. bread. Yep, we yep. get awesome vegan bread here. Mm -hmm vegan desserts yeah. as you guys know i love my desserts yes <laughs> the ecuadorian chocolate the bacardi ve is vegan oh my gosh it's so good yeah yep we're in vegan heaven yeah this is, this is. and there's a pretty big community of vegans there's here. a grow and it's a growing, growing a growing community of vegans yeah which is very exciting for mm -hmm. us yeah. Number five on the list of things we love about Cuenca is it's tranquilo. Oh, it is. It's muy tranquilo. It is. It's like island. We're on island time. <laughs> yep. That, that's a really good way to put it. Things aren't quite as rushed. Definitely more laid back. People aren't as stressed out. They're not as focused on you know, their job, their commute. It's a lot mm. more family time. Yep. People here live, they live, they work to live. They don't live to work right, and of right? Course, they work yeah. to live they don't live to work and of course there's exceptions like there's exceptions everywhere but that definitely seems to be the general mm -hmm. rule the only time is not tranquilo tranquilo excuse me is when people are driving yeah and they're driving they're driving they're scary <laughs> yes <laughs> we'll get to that later too. yes <laughs> number four on our list is reliable internet since we both work online having reliable internet was very important and we have fiber to the curb mm -hmm. here it's super fast. I think we get 50 meg up and down for, yeah. for 50 bucks a month, 56 a month, I think. Yeah, it's great. We upgraded from the $35 plan, which was 20 meg up and down. And that was plenty enough for the down, for downloading things. But it, for uploading videos, which is what I do three times a week, it was taking forever. So we up, we uh, updated. Yep, and upgraded. it's affordable. It's reliable. It's funny, we lived in Denver and we had all sorts of issues with yeah, our, internet our cell was out. phone and yeah. our internet yeah. and same in Atlanta, but here we just don't seem to have those issues. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Denver, we lived in uptown Denver, which is in downtown, and our internet was out all the time. And sometimes it was so slow we couldn't even use it. In the tech center we had issues too, which I find ironic since it was called the tech center. I know, the tech center, <laughs> we had terrible tech. Yes, we had bad tech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number three on our list is drinkable water. We can drink the water out of the faucet here. Yeah, this is huge. This was, you, you can't do that everywhere in Ecuador. No, actually, I think the only place you can safely drink the water in Ecuador is in Cuenca. Mm -hmm. That was a really, a really nice factor for us. A lot of people in the other areas, they installed the 
filtration systems and the, the uh, cartridges are really expensive and hard to find here and it's just really nice to not have to worry about that. It so is. Mm -hmm. Hydration is important. Yes. Water is important. <laughs> Water is important. Can't live without it. No. <laughs> Number two on our top 10 things we love about Cuenca is our, the natural beauty and diversity. And that, that goes for more than just Cuenca. That's just Ecuador, Ecuador. in general. Cuenca is, I mean, it's, this is the jewel. In our opinion, this is the jewel of Ecuador. Cuenca is an amazing city. Well, what's amazing, too, is that there's so much to see and do here, and it's so different as soon as you just drive a little bit outside of Cuenca itself. Mm -hmm. So much variety with the Cajas and with um, the different towns around, and then you you can drive for a couple hours near Inca Pirca, mm -hmm. or the other or direction, waterfalls. In the yeah. other direction is a desert, not, yeah. not too far south of here. There's is a desert and it's a jungle. Yeah, uh, you know where we went in Cajas is like a rainforest. Yeah, you got the jungle, you've got Galapagos, you got the coast, you've got the Amazon, different mountains, volcanoes, the cloud forest, it's the just, equator. It is incredible. <laughs> it it's, is. This small country is about the size of Colorado. It's so diverse. Oh, it, it is. It's amazing. We absolutely love it. And that kind of helps us with the whole tranquilo attitude as well. So when we need a break, you can drive a little bit outside the city and see the... Just being in the scenery is very relaxing. The countryside is beautiful. It is. Number one, numero uno. numero uno on our top 10 list of things we love about Cuenca, the friendly people. Yes. Oh, there's everybody here everybody is, so is so friendly nice. and accepting of us and they just make us feel at home and they're so proud of their country and they, they love sharing it with us. And Yeah, and it's fun. It's fun. When they see us, they ask if we speak English, they want to practice our English with us, mm -hmm. you know, just say hello. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people speak English here in mm -hmm. Cuenca. Now, we didn't, we haven't had that experience on the coast, really, no. or in Quito. It was a little tricky. People didn't speak nearly as much English, and we're learning Spanish, but we're not conversational yet. And it's, it's really nice to have so many people here in Cuenca that speak English. Yeah, it, it definitely helps for the transition. Mm -hmm, it did. Well, and it's interesting, too, because you meet so many people from other countries, and English is pretty much spoken by everyone. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's awesome. It is neat. All right, now for the top five things we don't love about Cuenca. Yes. We have to give... What do you, we have to be balanced in be our balanced. reporting. Balanced, okay, yes. Balanced in our reporting. All right, so number five on our top five list of things we don't love about Cuenca, the drivers. Yeah. So these tranquilo, oh happy, welcoming people, when you put them behind the wheel oh. of a car, they turn into Freddy. They do not like pedestrians. <laughs> they don't. This is, for being such a walkable city and everybody walks in this city, I mean, this, the streets and sidewalks are always full of people walking. The, when they're behind the wheel of a car, it's the pedestrians do not have no. the right of way. You have to, you take your life into your own hands crossing the street. I do feel like it's gotten a little bit better since we've been here, but yeah, not a Yeah, because a couple a people got hit and killed, well, and yeah. so then there was kind of a movement to watch out for the pedestrians. Yep. Stop at crosswalks, which is a foreign concept here. They don't stop at the crosswalk. No, if you have the the green walk. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going to turn in front of you. And people turn left on red. Yes. And they drive on the right side of the road and they turn Yeah, you really have to be on red observant. In front of oncoming traffic. And if you're walking across that street over there and you've got the green walk sign, it doesn't matter. They'll, they'll, yes. they'll speed up to beat you. I mean, it's crazy. It is crazy. We almost got hit by a motorcycle on the sidewalk. <laughs> We both we were walking down the sidewalk, minding our own business, and I look up and I'm like, "Holy crap! That's a motorcycle <laughs> coming straight at us!" And yeah. he darted right in front of us out onto the street. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. You get used to it, and then you just learn, and yeah, it becomes you just have just to second pay nature. You, instead of being a defensive driver, you need to be a defensive walker here. Yeah, you do. And they drive the wrong way on one ways all the time, so you have to look both you ways, do. even if it's a one way street. Yep. Yeah, so there we go. There's our rant on driving. Yes. So please, Ecuadorians, if you're watching this, please be nicer to us pedestrians, those of us who don't own a car. <laughs> All right, number four on our top five list of things we don't love about Cuenca is the noise. Yeah, it does get pretty noisy here. There are car alarms, house alarms, parties at 2 a.m. on Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, it's just fireworks at 6 a.m. Yeah. on Sunday. 
people honking their horns. Oh yeah, all the time. honking. The taxis will come in and they'll just lay on their horns until somebody comes out of some house. Yeah, <laughs> dogs barking. Yeah, a lot of dog roosters are the, the neighbors. Be- the neighbors behind us have a bunch of roosters and they they go off all the time. Bus. Yeah, I just heard that go by. There's a bus. Yep. It's very, very noisy, and people don't seem to notice. They'll just let their car alarms go off at four in the morning and for minutes. Yeah. And where you're trying to sleep, and there's a car alarm outside your house. <laughs> it's very noisy. So that's a little different. <laughs> it's very no- and, and these beeps are all the time. Everybody has a car alarm that no one pays attention to. The, yeah, the, the, you're right. Same with the house alarms. So I don't exactly. think they do anything. Yeah. All right, number three, the blue puffer buses. Oh, yeah, they're nasty. So they're phasing those out. In fact, they're supposed to be Yay. gone within the next, like, year or so. Mm-hmm. They're, and But they're diesel, really old diesel, low-efficiency buses. And, God, they just leave this plume of oh, black smoke. Oh, it's disgusting. It is bad. Yeah. So you don't you definitely don't want to be on a narrow street when one of those things drives by. No. <laughs> I try to back up, which I know is kind of stupid because... <laughs> But it makes me feel a little bit better if I'm not just standing right in the middle of the black cloud. If I'm a little bit back. Mm-hmm. But of course, I'm still breathing all that in and it gets in your skin. Yep. Clothes. Back. Yep. <laughs> Thankfully, they're they're leaving. Yes. They're, started, they're launching the Tranvia, which is our rail system. Yeah, that should be starting in a couple weeks. Yeah, in a couple weeks. And they're starting to phase out and introducing some electric buses. So. Yeah, they have electric buses and they have the low... Uh, high efficiency diesel buses yeah. too so it'll get a lot better it is getting better they are slowly it we're seeing it we're yes. seeing the new the new buses and i've seen the tram in operation so we're we're excited about that yes we are okay all right number two is the number of homeless and underfed dogs yeah it's weird although again i'm going to say it, it doesn't seem like it's been as bad lately my observation is sometimes i have a hard time telling if a dog is homeless or not because a lot of people here just let their dogs out and they just roam around all day long and they don't always have collars. Yeah. And then I, you see one and maybe it's dirty or it needs to be groomed. And I think, oh, that's a homeless dog, but then I'll see it in somebody's yard, so. I know, she tried to kidnap the neighbor's <laughs> dog one night. I thought it was homeless. She had had a couple glasses of wine and just, I could not reason with her. She was down there trying to capture this dog and the owner comes out and calls the dog into the house. He didn't come out, he just opened He up opened the door, door and said something and the dog went running inside. So after that, I realized, okay. You can't tell, you just, you just don't, don't know. know. And a lot of people, they just let their dogs out. They make their rounds. They go find yep. their own food. They pr- patrol their territory, and then they go back home. Now, and I think that it depends on what area of Cuenca you're in, because I've heard that some areas have more homeless dogs than others, and mm-hmm. th- we, maybe we just aren't seeing them as much in Elber Hell. I don't really see them in El Centro. I don't know. Yeah, and we've noticed a, a, it was a lot worse in Quito. Yeah. And in on the coast, there were just, like, packs of yeah, stray dogs. and. Of- stray dogs and they looked really unhealthy and you know, it's really hard to see that mm-hmm. yeah. luckily in cuenca there's several rescue organizations that are really doing everything they can to help these animals mm-hmm. yeah and we try to support them too support your rescues people. support your rescues okay what is it adopt don't buy is that right i don't know there's Wait. a saying adopt don't shop that's Ad- it yeah adopt don't shop yes all right number one on our top five list of things we don't love about cuenca pig roast on the street oh yeah as vegans this is horrifying oh god those poor it's pigs so disgusting and they're just like we went out to baño oh. saturday and a cab it's driver like a line yeah took us on this road and it was just like pig after pig after pig being roasted like right on right on the sidewalk you can't yeah. even not look at it because if you look turn your head one way you're going to see one if you turn it back you're going to see another yeah it's like we just have to do this I know. I just I wish people would wake up and realize how gross and disgusting and cruel that is. <laughs> anyway, as vegans, that's our number one yes. on our top five <laughs> list of things we don't love about Cuenca. <laughs> but that being said, we love it here. I know. In case you can't tell, we do absolutely love it here, it's an and that's that's why city. we have ten things we love. And we're, we actually have a longer list we're going to do in a future video. We're going to have, we have even more things that we love and a few things more that we don't love. Yes, but we thought, we were afraid this would ramble on for like hours. I know, it's already 20 minutes long at least. Okay, so <laughs> time for us to wrap it up. Yeah. We love Ecuador. We mm. love Cuenca. We got, think you guys should all come out and visit. Yep. 
It's a great place. It's a great place. Mm -hmm. All right. If is that it? I think I think we're good. Oh, we're good. We're good on this one. We'd if, love to hear your comments. Yeah. If you questions, have any other feedback. any other questions about you know living here or life here, just let us know in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer. Absolutely. And please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updated and you don't miss out on our future adventures. Yes, and we will see you all soon. Ciao. Ciao. Axa. I'll just leave it at ciao. Let's do it again. Ciao. Ciao, veggie lovers. Hold on, I burped right in the middle of that. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Ciao, veggie. What is the matter with know. your lips? The. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check the tongue there. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> okay. Ciao, veggie lovers. Ciao.